We asked people, what is your Porta John story that is beyond the norm? Yeah. And, uh, boy, this one's an extra level of gross. Be warned. If you're eating, this maybe go away Keep for a few it. minutes and, yeah, I mean, get, and come get back. Extra. Sugar get extra. Get something that. more mushy. Sugar up that oatmeal and it gets, oh, yeah. pops them on your lips. Yeah, you dip, dip your banana in chocolate. <laughs> yes. Slap it in your eyes. <laughs> Anthony writes, good morning, all. The worst porta potty story I can think of is when my unit and I were in Death Valley training for deployment. We got to one of our firing positions, the first one of our field exercise, and being that we were on the road for a long time, going to the porta potty was first on the list of things to do. When I opened the door, there was already a mound of feces, six to eight inches above the toilet seat. It was hilarious to see and even more so to think about how many dudes had hovered just to make the mountain grow. You can imagine the smell being it was midsummer and the temperature consistently well above 100 degrees. Oh, oh my gosh. And then imagine the inside of that. It was horrible. Yeah. 120, 130, 140 on the inside of this toilet. Our commander needed to use it, and obviously much worse than any of us. While we resorted to finding a quiet spot to dig a hole, he opened the door, and it must have been in a hurry because he just started grabbing piles of it with his bare hands and throwing it out the door until there was <laughs> enough room for him to take what? care of business. Oh, what? why didn't he just squat? He's so... I would have just pooped on the floor. What are you doing? We We're grabbing piles. We're artillery, so we had shovels, e tools, <laughs> medics with rubber gloves, all sorts of things he could have used. He wanted and this. this is the guy who's commanding. But he must not have had time to take a look around. Well, he mm. had time to shovel with his palms. The worst part is he had a granola bar hanging out of his mouth the whole time. <laughs> no way. Put him down. <laughs> Oh, my God. How did he advance in rank? It's so bizarre. <laughs> you know you've seen some S if that doesn't yeah, bother right? you. Exactly. Damn, I don't know. I don't want to mess with I that don't guy. know. That guy, may, he, he sounds like he might just have a Sir, screw loose. Sh- it seems like it stands out to him. <laughs> well, because like I, cause all was... those other guys probably saw some S, too, and they weren't digging actual S with their palms. <laughs> See some. He was throwing it and eating it. Yeah. It was amazing. That guy, Jesus. An unbelievable thing to have witnessed in your life. Yeah. He was delirious. I wonder what kind of oatmeal. Uh, nope. Maybe he was. <laughs> granola bar. <laughs> Maybe he was having delusions and he thought he could just see old lady noses all over the sand. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> it's only one of the most pivotal parts of this show when the old lady got poop thrown on her nose. Uh, that was a good moment. Yeah. It was. <laughs> Was she in the desert by a porta john? Nope. That's why I said he was delusional from the heat. Yes. You must be it's, too. It's been pretty hot in here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It has been, yeah. Somebody get grandpa a cold compress. <laughs> Quick, throw yeah, poop at yeah. him. Somebody get me one. I think I'm seeing <laughs> old lady noses in your jokes. Yeah. Where'd it go? I was I wasn't gonna say anything. Why? It didn't make any sense. It made you sense didn't for say us. anything. It made sense for us well, to you didn't say need what to do not you mean? say anything. You just didn't say anything. You right? let the room go like this. <laughs> That's saying yeah, something well, without saying his something. Nonsense next yeah, time. act like you're a hero. What do you want me to do? <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> wow. What do you want me to do? Mm-hmm. Go walk a walk and give the phone number. <laughs> Well, you might yeah, as well have. Yeah, you I kind of like well that have. style, too. <laughs> waka Waka, 1-800-947-3979. Do it again. <laughs> somebody, Steve, somebody got it. Maitland, did you get it? I know, yeah, everyone I had did. no clue. I'm sorry, man, I didn't know. Maitland, did you get the joke? I heard old lady noses in the sand, and I said, what? <laughs> That's usually what. Yeah. Yeah. So- it's fun. <laughs> you know, the best part about going to the comedy club is that for, like, an hour or two straight, you can all go what over and over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. good to go, it's good to what on the weekends, you know. <laughs> Stop thinking about uh, your life. They say what's the best medicine. Yeah, they yeah. do. Man. <laughs> I feel like I've taken all your troubles away. Well, now you have. Yeah. <laughs> it turns out that's the funniest thing that happened today. Yeah. <laughs> See, <laughs> never forget I'm the funniest. <laughs> <laughs> Derp. <laughs>